Hello everybody, today here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, I'm going to be going around the map and taking out a few trophies that I've been saving for a video like this. Because a lot of you have been loving the handgun, shotgun, and air rifle content, I decided that what I would do today is, I've saved back three different trophies and we're going to go out and shoot each of them with a different handgun. So I've got the 357 Magnum, I've got the 44 Magnum, and we've got the 410 Birdshot. So you guys can kind of speculate what we're going to kill based off those three weapons, but I figured that that would be a cool little idea to do, so that's what we're going to be doing today. But real quickly, I just wanted to show this amazing view. This is an absolutely awesome spot to have a tent, and you can also look straight down on this little mule deer zone right here, which right now it looks like we don't have any here, but there is a muley zone right in this area. And as you can see, a lot of other stuff too, so it's a pretty cool little spot to put a tent. I'll real quickly show where it is. It's over here on the bottom left corner, right next to this lodge. I actually just put a tent right here. I kind of got this idea off of one of Didi's videos. He had a tent up by this spot and was able to look down on the lake, so I figured there's probably some other spots that you could do that with, and this spot's actually really, really good. I really like having an angle from right here. You can see a good portion of this lake, but anyway, let's get to taking on these trophies that I've been saving back. Also, I real quickly wanted to say thank you for all of the crazy support recently. Uh, when I made yesterday's video, we had just under 2,000 subs, and we're now at 2,104, so thank you guys so much for all of that. It's been a crazy few days, and I honestly can't thank you guys enough. Alright, so here is our first trophy that we're going to be taking out. It's a Pretty decent little level 3 albino mule buck. It's one of the bigger level 3 racks, so I definitely want to make sure we get a good shot on him because this one very could, very well could be a low scoring gold. So we're going to be using the 44 Magnum on this guy. I think that's going to be the perfect gun for it. We'll use the 357 and the 410 for the other trophies that I've got saved up. But this guy right here is going to go down with the 44 Magnum. Now, one thing that's going to be interesting about this is. The other trophy that I've got saved is right up there. And I don't know how this is going to go when I shoot this guy because this one could very well spook off. And if it does, it's going to be a little bit more of an interesting hunt. Hopefully it flies at us. If it flies towards us, we can easily take it out with the 410. But there you guys go. There's a look at a couple of the trophies that we're taking out today. But this guy right here is the one we're targeting at the moment. We need to get to about 75 meters because that is the high zeroing distance for the 44 Magnum. And it should have enough penetration at that distance. So we're going to do our best to get this guy down. Uh, uh oh, he is alerted. That's actually close enough, I think. I think we can take this. So if he turns broadside, we'll take the shot. He is attentive now. Oh, he almost gave us a shot there. He almost gave us a shot. But he decided to turn at the last second. And now, of course, he's facing us. You would do that, wouldn't you? Well, that seems to be our luck. We'll uh, try to get him to go alert again. Please turn broadside. He's so close to turning. Once he turns, we're taking the shot. There we go. And that's a good shot. Now let's rush up and see if we can get this turkey before it flies away. If not, we'll have to reset the time and wait for it to come back, but I'd like to just seal the deal on it right now. Yeah, it's going to be flying away, unfortunately. I was hoping it would fly towards us, but we didn't get lucky enough. I believe that is a leucistic turkey, though. I can't really tell the albino and leucistic apart, because at some angles, the feathers look black anyways. Uh, so it's hard to tell, but it appears to be a leucistic. But here is that albino mule buck, and that is a beautiful looking buck, actually. That thing is gorgeous looking. Very, very happy with this trophy right here. Let's go ahead and claim it like right here. 211.60. Not quite a gold, but that is a solid looking silver. Definitely an awesome trophy to get. 
And honestly, I really like the way they slap this uh, rack looks. I think that's a solid looking mule deer rack. I'm pretty happy with the albinos that we've got recently. A lot of them have looked really good, which is honestly kind of rare. I usually end up getting the terrible looking rares. As we've seen with a lot of my previous ones that I've got, I usually don't get that big of ones, but we've been getting some decent ones with the mule deer, thankfully. That is a beautiful deer right there. Definitely going to be a good addition to our Spring Creek Manor. Uh, so that's a nice little surprise. I actually didn't know this guy was on the map. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, I guess we're taking out a diamond turkey also. So let's sneak up with the 410 and see if we can take this guy out. Because that's going to be a nice little added bonus to get another diamond turkey. All right, so the turkey is fleeing. I'm not actually sure why he's a little bit more than 150 away, or at least he was. So we're probably just going to have to wait until he calms down. He actually is flying in a good direction, though, so that is good right there. Let's hope we can get up close to him and get a shot. But he is flying in the right direction, at least. It's going to be a good spot for him to go. All right, so here is the animal that we will be taking out with the 357. This should be a guaranteed diamond mountain goat because the score estimate says a max of 112 and currently the scoring is bugged so the high score estimate is going to be the actual score of the animal. Uh, it's unfortunate that it bugged out like that but it does tell us that this is a guaranteed diamond provided we don't screw the shot up. So we definitely want to make sure that we get a good shot on it. In fact I think I'm going to go around the left side instead of the right just because I don't want to spook those mountain goats towards that one because it could potentially spook him away so we want to be safe about this and go around the left side all right so we are coming back up on that uh leucistic turkey because that mountain goat uh caught wind of me the wind shifted right as i was getting close to it so yeah i had to reset the time so we're back to square one which it's not really how i was hoping this would go but i guess we'll try to take down this turkey since it is coming back in we just heard it gobble and it seems like it's relatively close now. Once we get to within, I'd say, 40, 50 meters, I'll try and take a shot. If we can at least get one into it, it should die. All right, so we got our little turkey eating at about 84 meters. So this should be an easy little stock up. And we should be able to get a shot. You know, the more I'm looking at her, the more this looks like it might be an albino, actually. Because it does have the pink head, uh, as you can see right there. It's kind of hard to see behind that flower, but she definitely has a pink head. And I don't think the leucistics have that, so this might be our first ever albino turkey because that's the one that I've never killed. I've never killed an albino or a melanistic. We've got the leucistic and the light brown before, but albino is what I really wanted, and I think that's what this is, so... We're going to try and get close enough to take a decent little shot on her. In fact, she's about she's at about 60 right now. Which means if we get up and run a little bit, we should be able to get to her before she spooks. Uh, this is actually a tactic that works pretty well on turkey. If you get up and run at them... You can usually do that. And we did get her, it looks like. She's definitely going to die. And there she goes. Let's go ahead and get this too. While we're at it. Might as well. So there we go. We finally got this little one down. I'm honestly uh, surprised that we finally did. It took way longer than it should have. You know, this might actually... This might be a leucistic. I'm not sure. I didn't think the leucistic had the pink head, but I guess they do. Let's go ahead and grab this. Yeah, this is a leucistic. We did hit lung. Nice. That is a nice little hen. Which means we probably will put this in our gobble gobble multi mount. Instead of using the light brown one that we have in there currently, I think this one will fit better. So that is awesome. Alright, so we finally got this guy back here so we're gonna try and get him to stay alerted or attentive and there we go he's now alerted 
The wind is good, so we should be okay to take this shot once we get slightly closer. Looks like he's having some issues there. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting shot to take, but I think we can make it. I'd be really surprised if this guy's not going alert easier. There we go. So this is going to be our 357 kill. Get down. Wait for him to go broadside and then we'll take the shot. Oh, uh, we can make that. That should be a good shot. In fact, it is. There we go. We did hit lung. The 357 is just so weak that it takes forever for it to actually do anything to the health. But we did get it down. In fact, it's just about to drop. Awesome. So we got that guy down. Let's go take a look at what this guy scores. It should be around the 111 to 112 mark. Uh, since that's what the score estimate said. So let's go take a look at it. All right, here we go. Here is our mountain goat. What a beautiful looking goat. I think this is the common fur variation, if I'm not mistaken. Looks like it is the common one. So let's go ahead and claim this guy. And it's 111.60. I think that's our biggest mountain goat, actually. I do believe this is the biggest mountain goat I've killed, so that's pretty awesome. We will tax that guy and get rid of one of our trolls, most likely. Because we do have a few, tr a few trolls put up in the lodge. That is beautiful. What a nice looking goat. And we were able to get it with the 357 Magnum, which is no easy task. As you guys can see, even with a double lung, it took that long for it to die. So the 357 has plenty of pen, it just does not have much power behind it. Which is its main downside. But yeah, overall, that was a decent little kill there. I'm happy with the way that turned out. Alright, so I called the turkey in, and it does look like it is moving around, so it should be coming towards us in a second, hopefully. I do want to kind of move around to the left a little bit so we're not across the water from it, because that can affect the speed at which they come in, and sometimes it even prevents them from getting to you, so we want to make sure we're over here, and then we will try to get it to come closer. Alright, so this little turkey is moving around quite a bit now. Definitely is interested in our call as far as I can tell. So hopefully we can get it to about 50 meters like we did with the hen and then we should be good to take it down. Uh oh, we did alert the turkey. But I think we got down in time that we should be okay. Which that's the main thing, we just don't want it flying off. Because I've already spent quite a bit of time trying to get this turkey. It's been kind of a stubborn one to be honest. But that is pretty much every turkey that I've ever come across in this game, they're always very stubborn. But this one in particular is just taking forever to get close to. Alright, so our turkey is at 68 meters. We'll let out a couple more calls and see if we can get it close enough. We've got a good spot to call it from. We're completely hidden and the wind is good, so this is honestly the perfect spot. However, the turkey itself is not really wanting to move too much. It's kind of just looking at us and doing whatever that was. Um, not sure what to think of that interesting turn right there, but I don't think it's going to move, so we might have to just sneak up on it and then rush it like we did with the female. In fact, it is walking away, so this is going to turn out just as I expected it would. Oh my gosh, there it is. I did not even see that little guy. Until it was already over here. I think this is our three. It looks like it is because it was highlighted. So that was interesting. I got distracted because a female called from that direction, but... Looks like this guy was running down to the water, but we got him down right before he got to it. So that is good. Let's get a look at him. And it's a pretty big one, actually. That's a decent sized turkey. It's actually probably just barely 4.7 because it is 10.60 kgs and they max out at 11. Max score is 4.8. Minimum score is 4.6. So I would imagine that this guy's probably right on the dot for 4.7 or maybe slightly above, but probably right on the dot. But that's awesome. We got ourselves a diamond turkey as a little bonus kill because I didn't even know that this guy was here, but that is pretty awesome. 
and we got a decent shot on him no vitals unfortunately but can't really ask for too much more from shooting it from behind but not too bad at all the 410 is doing better than I really expected it to last I had used it on turkeys it was not very good at all but it seems like it can hold its own now I'm wondering if maybe they changed something with it but that is awesome let's go check these guys out in the lodge real quick all right everybody so the first thing that we're gonna do is make another gobble gobble multi mount because we do have enough trophies to do that so let's go ahead and start the assembly here we got the leucistic one and then we got two diamonds and I was right this was just barely a 4.7 that's good to know and then the other one a 4.63 and that is now finished let's remove this albino mountain lion and put the gobble gobble multi mount right there this is the second one that we've built so far and I like that I think we'll just leave it at two we'll keep just two gobble gobble multi mounts in the lodge and then we'll probably use the rest of the big platforms for other stuff that's not re not related to turkeys uh, I think that one probably looks good yeah I like the, I like the way that one looks I definitely like the way that one looks uh, let's go ahead and find spots for everything else that we killed I think we're gonna leave the albino right here because we already have a better one on a full body mount so that guy can go right there I don't know if we have anything else that we can really put up here we're running out of plaques so I might have to start weeding out some of the smaller ones in fact let's get rid of this albino female and put our mountain goat right here so we'll put him like that I kind of like that pose also so that works out perfectly but let's see if we can find a spot you know we can probably remove one of our pronghorns because we have quite a few this guy's just barely a diamond so we'll take him down and we will put our mountain lion right here since we had to move him so there we go I think that is perfect this lodge is really coming together now obviously there's still a few things that we could replace like I'll probably move this guy to a different lodge along with maybe even some of the other legacy racks but I do like the way this is shaping up it's becoming a very nice lodge and I'm definitely happy with it but I hope you all enjoyed this little handgun video it was quite a, quite a bit of fun to make it's nice to be able to use some of these handguns and still be able to create good content with them because I know a lot of you guys like the handguns and I'm starting to like them too they're a lot of fun to use it's definitely not the most efficient thing because you have to get a lot closer but it's definitely a very fun way to hunt and I look forward to doing a lot more hunts like this in the future but if you guys are new to the channel be sure to hit that subscribe button it helps out a ton and if you enjoyed the video hit that like button because it also helps out the channel a ton but it's going to be it for this video hope you all had a fantastic day and I will see you all in the next one if you are new here and you are liking what you see consider subscribing to the channel and turning notifications on also if you want to help the channel grow be sure to like the video because this alone can help the video and my channel do better but that's going to be it for me peace my dudes I hope you all have a fantastic day